Hi, this is MC Jetty with a quick video about my upcoming mod Xnet. It's not ready yet, still a few bugs, but I hope to release an alpha pretty soon. So what is Xnet? Xnet is basically a cable, uh, a networking mod with uh, con uh, cables and it's designed to be very efficient. So these are normal network cables uh, connected to various machines like for example these coal generators which are now empty they just have a bit of power the so chest here and a lot of things so what I would like to do just as an example to demonstrate how it works I want to distribute this coal uh, round robin to these uh, coal generators and make sure there's only a few coal in each so let's do that with the controller here so here you see all the machines there will be tooltips in third versions at this moment you you can't see it really but this is our chest so first we make a channel so these are all the channels we have eight channels that we can use so let's we don't want energy we want an item channel create and we will use round robin we will also disable the channel so that we can set it up and items don't start flowing too soon so here we have the three coal generators um, and let's see so this should be so we want to extract from the chest so here are all the options so this is a site from which we are extracting which you cannot change with this type of connector the normal connector but it will be able you will be able to change this with an advanced connector so we extract so extract mode single uh, number of ditch we so every no, let's say every uh, every ses second we we will uh, check um, and we want to insert call so that's a f uh, extract call that's the only thing we allow here we will create insertion and we will to want to make sure that there are maximum two items in each uh, in the call generator like this okay so nothing is happening right now because uh, the channel is disabled so let's enable the channel like this and now they start working and there will be only maximum two items e here in this so now it should stop and uh, it will keep it stocked with two items like this and they will come out of this chest so that demonstrates what you can do here so uh, there are f a, a lot of options for example you can uh, filter you can enable blacklist mode so everything except go uh, or dictionary ma matching for uh, ORS metadata and bt matching and these filter works both on the extracting side as on the insertion side in this case we don't have to do that because there can be only coal on this channel um, you can say single item or stack and you can say oh, uh, the delay so to make things slower you can enable redstone mode but that's not implemented yet and you can say how much to keep uh, for example for extract mode that means uh, don't extract if the number goes below this uh, uh, amount and for insertion it means maximum amount um, and you can also specify priority and so instead of round robin it will sort, uh, insert in priority order there's also the possibility to create energy channels for example from this one let's uh, extract here and you can say maximum energy extraction rate disable extraction if energy is too low and for example there's a, uh, a builder here there you can insert and same rate insertion rate and insertion to low and you can say distribution or priority so but that's not fully implemented yet there's still a few bugs with energy transfer um, so this is 
very efficient and I would like to demonstrate how that is so I made um, yes this one is it it's a huge cable network so there's three chests there again with round robin let me first disable this oh need to fix that okay so if I insert something there it will be distributed round robin to these three chests but this cable is 12,000 blocks long it's a big square of 12,000 let me show you So there, we are near the end corner, this is the first corner, and now there's another 3000 blocks that direction, and then another 3000 that direction, and back again. I'm going to take the short route, like this. So you see, um, this is a, a really scalable solution. You can create huge networks without uh, overhead. These, by the way, are not tile entities. These cables just blocks. They don't tick. They don't cause any lag. So only the connectors are tile entities, and of course the machines themselves. So that's basically it. Um, this is just the beginning. A lot more is planned. Um, first. I want to make sure that uh, everything works fine, so that's the first priority. And when the basics are done, when this system is working uh, perfect, I will make advanced network cables so you can connect multiple networks with each other because each network as such is limited to eight channels and sometimes you might, might want to transfer from one network to another. Also uh, interdimensional routers uh, can be supported. I also want to support uh, facades so that you can hide these in blocks and different types of uh, connectors uh, of cables, different colors, so that you can put them adjacent without uh, interfering with each other. So, still have a, a bunch of things to do, but all in all, it's uh, working fine right now. So, this is it for my first introduction to XNet. Let me know what you think. Bye bye.